Hi, hi, it's Chesapatat Kamnyoi. What I just said in the people's language is, it's so great to see you today. My name is Cher Thomas and I am the Indigenous Seamstress. What we are doing here today is we are sewing down some applique. Now, this is what I do day in and day out. This is my bread, this is my butter, watch me work. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're doing today is we took some rose gold copper lame from the last video and you saw at the end I made the purple skirt with all of the small little bits and pieces a bunch of rectangles and squares and somehow it turned into a squash blossom design well this is the positive form of that exact same design what this is is this is one large piece of rose gold copper lame that has been cut into the squash blossom design watch my last video I'll put the link in the top corner so you can check it out yourself and see how I did it now what we're doing today is we're sewing it down it's very 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 important to sew down your applique work let me tell you because these designs are so intricate one go in a washing machine and it is done or if you have a very hot iron and it slides it a lot can happen to applique designs so it's extremely important that we take this extra step and we sew it all the way down so what I'm using today is a medium brown thread. I wanted it to be a darker tone than the copper lame because I wanted it to stand out. I wanted there to be a very crisp, clean line that could be seen from at least two feet away. And I realized that the darker color was actually exactly what I looked for. And I'm also using an embroidery stitch. Embroidery stitching is very important when working with metallic lames because it is so easy for the lame to shift and pull and budge and a a really good embroidery stitch will just keep it still and that's really what we're trying to do with these designs the copper lame is actually ironed onto unbleached cotton muslin and that is a very stable fabric it's not really going to shrink after it's had its first wash and it's good to go it will iron like a dream you can iron it from behind and it'll work out very nicely i'm also using a intricate technique in sewing it down. What you see me doing is going in circle in circular patterns. I realized that after a year or so of sewing each individual little baby box and rectangle that it was extremely time consuming until I figured out this pattern. We start from the inside of the circle and we work our way out. That way the tension is always in the center and it relieves some of the pulling and the pushing that sometimes happen when I used to do the design or I used to sew down the design from the outside in. I've learned that going from the inside out is actually much better and it lays so much smoother to do so I this is I believe a half centimeter wide stitch with a 0.8 centimeter space between each of the zigs and zags I believe that's the settings I believe <laughs> either way sewing this down was about a good hour's worth of work and I really 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 hope you enjoyed watching me work thank you so much for all of your support on this channel thank you so so much check me out on Facebook Instagram at share thomas designs you can even find me on twitter it's a little hard but it's at share underscore thomas and thank you so much for your time